In the last episode, you've seen five of our six outings at Maynard Creek Honey. You've seen highlights of turkey, exotics, and taking of a whitetail that was hurt and needed to be taken out of the herd. In this episode, you see that one final sit. Sit back and enjoy. Well, that darn feeder scared me again. But it didn't take five minutes after that and I heard a doe blow off to my left. It took her a while, but she finally worked down to where I could see her out the corner of the window of the blind. She certainly knew I was there, but that corner was just too enticing for her. Most of you understand that when an ornery doe wants to let every animal around know that you're in the area, that she will be shot at first chance. She's just begging to play tag. Oh my God, did you see that? <laughs> Instant squirtage. <laughs> Talk about creating havoc. After the shot, I decided, knock another arrow. What's it gonna hurt? Tried getting a hold of Leon, no luck, no service at this blind. Uh, so I did what most people would do when they know they shot an animal they got on film. I watched the footage. Watched it a couple, three, four times. I grabbed my still camera out, took a couple pictures of different things. Uh, sitting back, just finished like, okay, let's get back, get focused here. All of a sudden I heard something running up from my left again black buck. This is the one animal on this trip I was hoping to get a chance at. And a little coloration right there on the side. Perfect aiming point. 10 ring. So something funny here, neither one of those animals made it down to the feeder. And both of them were standing in the exact same spot because if you can look at the footage of the black buck, you can actually see the green nocturnal knock on my arrow sitting in the grass right behind it. Again, I wanna thank Leon, Audie, and Caitlin Maynard Creek sure is a special place. 